What's the latest information you can provide for our viewers? So firefighters and multiple air resources are working to hold the fire to the west of the Alcoa Highway and to the north of uh, Clockham Road. Um, crews are currently reporting active spread at the head of the fire, um, and we're working to utilize existing roads, dozer lines, and water drops uh, to help limit the spread of the fire whenever possible. Any estimates on acreage at this point? We're approximating 500 acres at this point in time. Uh, at this point, to looking uh, as uh, if it was lightning started, is that correct? Unknown at this time. However, there was a lightning storm in the area, but the cause of the fire is still under investigation. Quickly became a two-alarm fire. Do you have any estimate on the uh, number of crews that are currently working on it? Uh, we currently have about 100 personnel working the fire, uh, and that includes uh, multiple water tenders, dozers, air resources, uh, helicopters, that kind of thing, who are responding. Uh, I know the National Weather Service had a red flag warning here for the afternoon, and it sounds like the wind's not going to give you any break tonight. Is that correct? Uh, we're currently, you know, looking at uh, continued winds, uh, hot, dry temperatures, uh, slightly better forecast for tomorrow, but this is primarily a grass and brush fire, so the winds will definitely continue to be a factor. We had our cameras across the highway looking back that direction. It does look like there's a few structures that are kind of in that vicinity as well as some orchards. Uh, uh, can you tell us about evacuations? Yeah, we're currently looking at level two evacuations in place for uh, the area of Clockham Road, Kingsbury Road, Moses Carr Road, Ingersoll Road. Um, and Tarpiscan Road as well. And of course, level two evacuations mean to be ready to leave in an instant. In an instant. Um, we currently estimate there's about 80 structures threatened. However, we don't have any reports of uh, damages or loss of structures at this time. Looks like that fire is burning under some uh, of the major power lines in that area. Um, was uh, power cut to that area and those residents in the area? Uh, no, uh, working with the various uh, public utility districts, uh, they were able to uh, reroute power, so no power was eliminated. Um, however, for firefighter and public safety, they did, uh, for a short period of time, um, cut power to some of those uh, transmission lines. Last report we had also was some road closures in the vicinity. That's correct. Traffic at this time is limited to local traffic only uh, beyond milepost 8 along the Alcoa Highway. Um, however, there are no other closures in place at this time. And any other information you need to share with our viewers at this time? I just want to remind folks that it is definitely wildfire season. So we encourage folks to, if they haven't already, start their defensible space, clear their gutters, look at their brush piles, uh, just work to make their homes more defensible when a wildfire happens. Um, and not rest on the warm and uh, or cool and uh, wet spring that we had, but you know, just be aware that conditions are warming and drying, and that uh, wildfire is definitely a part of, of life here in uh, eastern Washington. Also, um, just real quick here, uh, Holly, as far as the folks that are fighting the fire, is this a kind of an interagency deal, and, and the land that it's burning on, is it private, is it public? What do we have there? So we're looking at a mix of ownership between uh, DNR, county, and state protection. Um, as well as BLM land. So we really have an interagency uh, group working here from uh, Chelan County Fire Districts 1 and 6, uh, more responding as well as um, the county sheriff, U.S. Forest Service, uh, really uh, multiple fire resources, wildland fire and uh, protection resources here in the county responding.